This is the Save a Copy as XML new feature of FileMaker 18. Be sure to check out the description for links to all of the new feature videos and the free course at Productive Computing University for all the videos in one place. This is not to be confused with other XML features, so we'll just demonstrate this to keep it clear. Once again, I have 17 and 18 open side by side. So we've got 17 here and we've got 18 here. We'll go to a little layout for save a copy as XML. Now there's several possibilities and we'll start with 17 here. If you go to export records, there is an option to choose XML here in 17. You also have an option under tools for the database design report, which is also XML. And if you can't find these here, it may be because under preferences, you haven't checked this use advanced tools. If we go to tools for 18, right away, we can see save a copy as XML. We still have under export, we still have the option for XML, but this is different. This, this is simply exporting records, whereas this is more like a DDR or all of the different kinds of information, not just records. This is also available in the scripts menu in save copy as XML. And in this particular one, you have two options. One is the window name and the other is the file path name. So in the sample file, I just made variables for those. But again, this is different than export records, which gives you the option for XML. So we'll just go ahead and disable that. Because this is new in 18, what would happen if we opened this script in 17? So in the same script, it says unknown external script step from missing plugin XML. So it knows kind of, but it doesn't quite understand all of it. In case you're not familiar with XML or you just want to see a little bit of a different example, I decided to make a different database to show this particular feature. So I'm gonna close 17 and actually close this first 18 database, and we're gonna open one called minimal. And if we take a look at it, I have one table, just one, which has one field, just one. We have one layout, just one. And we have one script, just one. So what would these look like if we did these various options? So we'll just test it. Let's actually export these records from the file menu as XML. And then let's actually run a DDR on this particular database in XML. We won't open it automatically. And there's a summary. And then lastly, we'll save a copy as XML. And in Finder, we started with just this folder and this particular file. And in those pieces, we added these different options. The DDR summary, which is very short. Here's the XML from the export records from the menu. And then we have save a copy as XML. So if we look at this one, we open it with a text editor. The export records is really small. We just have the layout name. We've got a few things you can kind of see, but it's really kind of jumbled together. So it's kind of hard to see. And let's open the DDR with the text editor. And this actually gets quite big. If we make this wide, notice we can scroll for a very long time with all of the information from a one table, one field, one record database. So let's look at the save a copy as XML. Let's open that one. And this one also is quite lengthy. 
and looks very different when we're scrolling through. And let's just look for the field that I made, which was the key. So we do a search and we see that there's a field ID of one there. There's the key and there's a couple of references until it comes back around. So let's actually minimize this and let's add one field and let's do that save a copy as XML again. And let's open that with the text editor as well. And here we can see the next field already. And it's in one spot because we didn't add it to the layout. Let's compare that with the key. We can even look for the key here, which you can see it right there. And here is the next field. So if you wanted to use software that would compare XML, then it would be easier to spot. But you can see that here is the key, the record in this table, all of these evaluate table occurrence. And then here it's got a field ID of six for the next field and this one doesn't have the next field. So if you had that uh, additional software, comparison software, it would be easy to spot these. But even if you don't, you can do some searches and see some differences here. But you can see just one table with one field and one script is a really big XML file. So I hope that whets your appetite for XML gurus if you use that a lot and at least gives you a taste of what it can do in the tools menu choice or as a script step that is different than the export as XML, different than the DDR, and of course base elements still rules when it comes to XML documentation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description for links to other new feature videos for FileMaker 18 and the free course at Productive Computing University for all of the videos in one place, as well as other courses to enhance your skills as a FileMaker developer.